No, I'm Ava, Isaac's little sister. When I first thought of this speech, I wasn't quite sure what to talk about or what memories to bring up because of our five year age difference, I couldn't really think of many memories. So after I started brainstorming, I started to realize that Isaac and I actually have a ton of really cool memories. Most of them kind of happened in our high school years, either his or mine. So the first one I'm gonna talk about will have to be our drives to school. Most of you probably don't know Isaac very well, but he's a quiet kid but his music is not. Metallica and Five Finger Death Punch, only thing we would ever listen to. He would be headbanging on his way to school and I'd have to watch the road, even if I was in eighth grade and pretty much drive us to school so we wouldn't crash and die. It doesn't matter what we'd be listening to, somehow he wouldn't be watching the road. Even after he graduated, the house started to become even more quiet, even if he didn't talk. Spencer would be gone more often than not, and my parents would always be working, so I'd be at home alone. Because I was home alone, I got kind of lonely, and so I kind of wanted Isaac to come back home, but I couldn't admit it because he was my brother, and that's just weird. And I didn't want Spencer to be leaving because, again, a brother. Why would I want him to be at home? Well, I couldn't have been more proud of Isaac for chasing his dreams. His dreams took him to Indiana to pursue a degree in motorsports engineering. In his first year of college, he met the most amazing woman, someone who I saw becoming a part of our family from the first time we met her. Morgan is somebody who is who likes to push people's buttons, but for Isaac, it's good. Isaac likes to think that he can kind of get away with whatever he wants because he's the oldest. And so Morgan pushes his buttons and pushes his limits, which is good, but also Isaac does the same for Morgan because nothing is ever one-sided with Isaac. In October of my senior year, I took a trip out to Indiana to see Isaac and Morgan. And one thing that I realized was when we played a lot of board games, Isaac would turn into a little demon and he would be out to get other players. But more specifically, just Morgan. In that same trip, Isaac showed me the ring for the first time. It was a rock. I was surprised because I thought he was broke because of college and whatnot. But the look and expression on his face was something that I had never seen before from Isaac. It was a look of such confidence that Morgan was the one for him and that he, Morgan was the one that he wanted to spend the rest of his life with, that he had no doubt in his mind that that was the one that God chose for him. To my oldest brother and my new sister-in-law, I hope you two persevere through all of your hardships and challenges that come up in your future. I hope you stay, stay your relationships with God, friends, and family strong, and that I love you both very much, and I hope you the best of luck.